Yeah, so good morning here from Sofia. Um, it's a beautiful morning. I've really lucked out with the weather this trip, but I know that there's a cold front coming, so that could get interesting. But yeah, it's a nice little tree-lined street here. The Airbnb owner was really nice and walked me around and so on. Here's my car this time after all that drama yesterday. Yeah, it's a white something or the other. I guess they like white. But now I'm headed off to Rila Monastery. Oh, it's a c c Citroen, whatever. Yeah, so anyway, headed off to Rila Monastery this morning. I know I need to get gas. The tank was only like a quarter full. So we'll check in from there. Gotta love it, just got some gas here on the way out of town. And um, they have full serve. Forgot to mention that before. A lot of the gasoline is full serve, which is kind of cool. I kind of miss that from the 70s. Anyway, yeah, the guy was so friendly. I was trying to tell him I didn't want a full tank, just half, because that's all that the car rental place gave me. And he wasn't understanding, so he whips out his Google Translate. And they're just so friendly here. And they say chow everywhere now almost like it was Italy so it's just like okay ciao instead of thank you and so on but um, here we go off again I think it's about one and a half hours to Rila we'll see all right we're just leaving Sofia on the way to Rila and the city sits in a little bit of a bowl with um, some mountains on I think about three sides or so so there's a little bit of an inversion issue with some bad air it looks like but overall, yeah, it's a nice city. It sits at the base of, I think those are the Balkan Mountains. So we should be to Rila in about two hours or so. They drive a lot better here, I've noticed, and they're not as rude in the city in terms of like honking at you and stuff. So that's nice. And the roads are smoother than Romania. So that's cool. Well guys, these mountains are something else. We're almost to the Rila Monastery, uh, just past the little town of Rila. And wow, these are like, for those of you in Utah, the Cottonwood Canyons, but just more of a lush green, as opposed to all that um, granite and rock. Wow. All right guys, made it to Rila. And uh, man, this was actually founded in the 10th century, 930, by St. John of Rila, their patron saint. And today, Rila Monastery is the most important uh, structure for Bulgarians and sort of a pilgrimage area. But uh, yeah, pretty incredible. And incredible frescoes there at the church part of this compound. Let's walk over there and um, check into what they are. Because I heard an English tour guide talking about them. Yeah, the interior is crammed full of frescoes, and this one in particular is interesting. It represents the 40 days, I guess, that our soul goes through of temptation after death. And this fresco has all sorts of angels, devils, uh, and so on. But yeah, incredibly painted, for sure. And all before the interior of the church, but by far I've heard this one is the most important fresco of them all. Plavdiv, and uh, what a place it is. It claims to be the oldest continually habitated city in the world, and it's probably pretty close with history that just goes back thousands. Um, there's an ancient Roman arena here I'm going to check out tomorrow, and uh, a few things like that. But this city is something else. It definitely feels Mediterranean, and both Greece and Turkey border Bulgaria to the southeast and from here to Greece it's really only a couple hundred miles so the Mediterranean influence here is everywhere um, including with the people 
they just appear to be more Mediterranean. The city is more gritty than um, Eastern Europe. And it really does seem closer to, for example, Turkey or Greece than it is to Eastern Europe. But uh, yeah, so there's a pretty good population here of Muslim. And there's some pretty cool mosques I'm going to try to take a look at tomorrow. But uh, yeah, this place has been also named the European Capital of Culture for 2019. And I talked about that a little bit back in Seabu. But it's a big deal around here. They are remodeling and there are signage everywhere and so on. So they're certainly getting ready for that. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a look around tonight and then do a full report tomorrow on Provdiv, which is going to be something else, I can tell. All right, guys. See you later. Good night.